So moving on, we've had a look at how stairs created, but it's probably more important, as I was just talking there, to be able to edit a stair. So what I've got is just a very simple straight run with a landing that I've already created. This time I'm using the floating stair with the risers, but I don't want to just work with this simple shape. So I'm going to go back to 2D, and what I'm actually going to do is, with it selected, drop into the settings. The important thing to do here is then switch on graphic editing. So if we activate that and hit OK, what you'll see is a whole load more intelligent hotspots appear. These allow us to do different things. So let's begin at the top. We'll take this very top hotspot, and if we take it and move it, you'll see it actually stretches, and it's going to increase the length of that upper leg of the stair. There's then a point at each end. If I pick these up, what these actually allow us to do is change the shape. So we could skew the whole thing, or we could bend the whole thing outwards. Talking of bending it, if we take this middle point, then what we can actually do is curve that shape so we don't have to have regular straight edges. We can turn them into curves even after we've created the shape. There's then similar points down here. So we could drag out this point. We could grab this point here, and that enables us to stretch the length of the landing. And there's also points in the middle that I'm actually able to rotate. So hopefully you can see it quite quickly. You can destroy something that was fairly simple and turn it into something much more difficult to build. So there we go, there is my steer. If we switch to 3D, you can see it's all there. Um, it does its best to follow the treads with nice perpendicular, sorry, parallel surfaces, but obviously it's kind of a bit of an issue by the time I made a mess in that middle section. So if we go back to 2D, one other thing we can do in terms of editing is go back into the settings and we have a second graphic editing mode that actually enables us to curve the treads. So what that allows me to do is pick up this bottom point here and we can put a curvature on each one of those treads. It will neutralize itself as it gets to the next connection, but I could carry that on, maybe curve them the opposite way, cover up for this upper leg of the stair itself. There's also, you see, points on the end of each tread. These actually allow us to put little curves on these ends as well. And again, 3D, you can see how that works.